Hi there, Mark here again. Welcome to this, which is the first part of my build guide for the Tamiya Heavy Dump Truck on the GF01 chassis. So let's not hang about, let's get on with it. So the first thing we need to do is open parts bag A. I uh, recommend putting all the bits in a pot like I have here. And the first real step is step two, because step one is charging a battery. And step two is building the differential gears, which we're going to build two of. I've already built the first one of the two. That went quite nicely, so let's show you what's involved in doing the other one. It's exactly the same. Um, you need your spur gear case. And you need these parts here uh, that are listed down on the left. Shows you all the parts you need for this step. Uh, I've got them all laid out, ready to go. Um, just match them up with the diagrams and you can't really go wrong. There's quite a bit of grease needed on these parts. Uh, obviously you can use the grease that's supplied, but what I've done is I've used the AW grease, which is really sticky stuff, and that's just going to tighten my uh, diff up just a little bit, so it gives a little bit of an anti-slip effect. Go with whichever suits you. Right, this makes it a bit uh, stickier <laughs> and uh, you're probably going to get it all over your fingers if you use this AW grease. What I tend to do is get it out of the pot with a brush and brush it onto the part. So the first thing I'll do is put a bit in the bottom of the case. And a little bit onto the back of this which is MA10, your larger bevel gear which goes at the bottom there. And also on the washer that goes over this flange. Is this? Put that on. A bit more grease. You don't have to go too mad with this stuff. Just drop that into the bottom of the case. More grease. Okay, once that's in, you want to get your star shaft, which is this here, and again make sure you do put some grease on these actual bars because uh, the planetary gears with the small bevels are going to pivot on that get your smaller gear and it goes on like so and grease that up put the other three on sorry the other two on <laughs> there's three all together okay once you've done that and pop that in make sure you engage that star shaft into the three slots and grease that lot up, put your other bevel gear on the top, nice and simple. Your second 9mm washer goes on there, grease that lot up. Then you've got a differential cover with the pins pointing down, they go into those slots that the star shaft went into. It'll only go in one way because there are notches around the outside. And once you've done that, you've got those three holes and put in your three. 10mm long screws and that is as simple as that with the diffs done the next step is step 3 which is simply attaching the differential gears it says attaching them but basically it's just placing them into the chassis so you need this part which is D1 and then you need to push your bearings or the bushings if you haven't got them the bushings that come with the kit go one in that hole there and one at the back there, as you can see I've put my metal bearings in and then it's simply a case of getting diffs and just plonking them in and that is step three. On to step four, again a nice simple step which is just preparing your counter gears really. Um, all you need to do is get all of these counter gears, there are two of each, so you've got two of this one, two of this one Oops, bearings fell out. And two of the small one there. And basically you get your bearings or your bushings and just push one into each side of all of those. And that's that step done. Straight on to step five, which is simply putting all of those counter gears into that case. Uh, you're going to need these four metal bars. And if you don't have the metal gears, you will need to grease all these. And as it said in the previous step, put grease all over those plastic bushings uh, but obviously I won't need to be doing that and then now it's just simply a case of lining everything up 
Ian's chassis. The first ones I put in are the largest ones. They go that way up and then simply get the longer bar and push it through. Feel it locate into the case or into the chassis. And again, same with this one in there. Once those are in place, you want the two smaller ones go that way up and they run next to those that we've already placed in. They should mesh together in those inner holes and these I think will be driven by the motor, these two. You just want to make sure you get some grease onto all the uh, teeth on the gears, make sure it's all meshing up together okay. So once those four are in, you need to put the, the last two gears, which are these, and they go on the outside there. They're going to mesh up with the differentials. Just pop them into place. And then just make sure that everything meshes up nicely. As you can see, they're all turning when I move the differentials. So that looks like jobs are good in. So I'll just get all this greased up and we'll move on to step six. So step six, very simple again, it's just a case of putting in this part B7 with a 10 mil screw and uh, that kind of, it's called a tooth washer, goes on there. So that's that black part B7, I think that's for the aerial. And then you just put your bearings or your bushings, one in there and one in the front. And you might be able to see on this, um, I've gone over with that lovely sticky AW grease on all the mating surfaces just to an attempt to try and keep all the dust and dirt out of the gearbox. Okay, on step seven. Which is simply a case of putting the two gearbox halves together. Well, I say simply, let's hope it does go together okay. So what we'll do first is we'll slot them together and then we'll get the one to, how many is it? Seven, uh, three by 10 screws to hold it all together. So. There's one we did earlier. What we need to do now is just get those so the shafts pop into the right holes in the other half and hopefully it'll go together okay. Let's try. Actually, that was quite simple. Went together rather nicely, so let's get those screws in. Here they are. So this looks like one goes in there, it's hard to get to, one in there, one at the bottom here, another one there, one right underneath here, number six in there, and number seven in the last one, goes in that hole there. So I'll just get those tightened up and that's part seven finished. Step eight is preparing the motor. So you need your motor plate, which is this part. Just clip that over like so. Try and line the holes up best you can. Then you need a tiny little MA3, little grub screw. Put that into your pinion. The supplied one is the 18 tooth. And then Line that grub screw up with a flat and it's showing on the diagram that we need to set this 14 millimeters away from the base of the motor. So get my ruler, that looks about right, and then give that a good nip up. Let's give it another check. Yep, we're looking about 14, so we're ready to fit the motor now in step 9. So for step 9 you're going to need these two long 3 by 25 screws. And if you're using the stock pinion like me, you go through the 18 holes there, which are those two. Hold them in place and try and get those into the holes for the motor. Yep, we can feel those locating, so let's try and get those screws done up. Yep, that wasn't a problem, so I'll make sure these are nice and tight. And then on to the next bit of this step, which is fitting 
part F3, which is this part. It looks like it goes on there. There's a, a slot to go over that raised piece. So it goes in there and it's just simply held in place by four 3 by 10 self tappers. Like so. And once that's done, that's the end of step nine and the end of all the parts out of parts bag A. Okay then, so as that's the end of parts bag A, this is a good point to uh, draw a close to part one of the build guide. I uh, hope you found something uh, useful in there somewhere and hopefully you'll join me on part two where we'll be starting off by building the suspension. Thanks for watching and see you again. Bye.